Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imagine and I'm here for the seventh episode of BAM's Manual. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the Sample Manager and the Factory Sound Bank. The Sample Manager is split into three tabs, Sample Pool, File Browser and Recorder. At the bottom of the window is a player allowing Sample Preview. When active, the headphone icon enables autoplay of samples and engine presets when clicking the sample or preset names. Long pressing a sample or preset name in the browser or pool will make a hot swap. This will switch the selected track engine with a sampler with the selected sample or with the selected preset. This could be useful for previewing sounds in the context of the current project. The play button plays the currently selected sample and the volume of the preview audio can be controlled with the volume knob on the right. Now for the pool. Each BAM project has its own sample pool to store up to 128 imported samples. Samples can be added to the pool from the file browser by selecting the Add to Pool button to the right of the file name. When dragging or dropping a sample, it will be automatically added to the pool if not present. The pool content is linked with the current project. Samples are imported into the first available empty slot in the pool and automatically assigned an index number corresponding to the sampler engine sample parameter, which you can then use to choose any of the pool samples. You can also modulate or automate the sample parameter inside the sampler to dynamically change the sampler played by the sampler. Now we go to the browser. The file browser provides access to all of the factory soundbank samples and engine presets, user-created presets and recordings, and file system access to browse local storage. You can add shortcuts for specific folder locations using the Add Folder Bookmark button. If you long press a sample or a preset, it enters hot swap mode. You may also drag samples or presets directly from the browser onto the device track, track trigger pads or tracks in the timeline panel to load the required engine and effects and also add a sample to the sample pool. Finally, we go to the tab of the recorder. Here you can record samples from BAM's master channel output or from any of your device's available audio inputs. You can also crop the recorded sample by adjusting the start and end knobs or interacting with the waveform area and selecting the crop button. You can use the recorded sample by dragging and dropping it onto a track of the track's engine device. I am now going to talk about the factory sound bank. BAM's main library is the factory sound bank consisting of samples and presets. Presets are divided into two categories. Effects, presets for each BAM's FX devices, and engines, presets for each of BAM's engine devices. For samples, BAM has an extensive library that is divided into two folders. Drums, split into nine categories with traditional drum kit sounds, each subdivided into acoustic and electronic folders with clap, cymbal, effects, hi-hat, kick, perk high, perk low, snare and tom and sounds that are melodic or tonal samples split into eight categories. Bass, brass, effects, lead, pad, stringed, synth keys and organs, and woodwind. This is it for this tutorial, and I hope that you will join us on the next one.